so welcome to our channel electronics on wheel and thank you for your support please like subscribe and comment if you like the content of this video so, so we are going to start with the second chapter that is the wire color coding how to read the wire color coding so before jumping to the wire color coding different wires in the wiring harness so first have you ever thought that why we have given different wire colors in wiring harness so yes i am thinking that you are in a right direction that you are thinking in the same way the purpose of giving the different wire colors is to easily identify the wires when you have a big bundle of wires in technical term if we call it a design of assembly or design of serviceability so suppose i take one example so one customer comes with a problem in car where one of the function is not working and technician start working on it so suppose technician first want to make sure that power supply of this particular function is properly uh, connected or not then he wants to identify the wire of power supply right so then if we already define one specific color to power supply uh, like red then it would be easy for him to identify that particular wire in the wire looms right then purpose of this particular thing is to make the easy work for the technician or the for the serviceability if you have the uh, wire loom with all the uh, sorry wire loom with all the uh, wires uh, then it would be very difficult for the technician to uh, you know find out that which wire is going for which purpose and it will take some more time for that uh, to identify the specific wire so that is the reason to give the different wire color in the wiring harness to different uh, uh, you know wire uh, wires and it, it would be making your design for assembly design for serviceability easy so there are two types of color in the uh, wiring harness so one is the main color that is called our base color if you see so this is your base color so sometimes we have the tracer color also tracer color is nothing but the secondary color so you can see there is a one strip is there so beige uh, so some of the wires will be having this type of coding so first one is the main color and then second one is the sorry sec first one is the main color and second one is the tracer color tracer color or the secondary color so to identify the you know uh, particular wire it it will make easy the tracer color secondary suppose you have the three wires right so if you can take one example here so if you have this these three wires right so <laughs> one is the this is the main color and this is the tracer color suppose you have the same color here and tracer color you give the different then it would be easy to identify that particular wire if they are different then not a problem but if it is not different and you are giving the main color same then tracer color can be different and it would be easy so these are the color b for black b l by l blue then g for green gr for gray then o for orange p for pink r for red <coughs> so some of the uh, you know oem use different uh, you know terminology also for the uh, red they might be using some r by d also sb is a or s is sky blue violet uh, v w for white then y for yellow and br for brown so these are the some of the colors there might be different colors you will come to know once you will start working on the wiring diagram so next is our how to read the wiring diagram so in next uh, chapter chapter 3 we will try to understand whatever we have learned that how they are going to work that what is the you know battery symbol and other stuff we will try to understand okay so thank you thank you for your time